Daniel was a man of high character. He had all the the traits that you'd like to see, not only in a person, but the qualities you'd like to see in a police officer. He was a man of integrity, honesty, uh, respectfulness. He was humble. He uh, treated people in the right fashion. Um, he was conscientious. He cared about how he did his job. He cared about uh, the people he dealt with. So, uh, and you know, he lived by um, a certain code. Daniel was a cop's cop. He would have your back on, on calls. You had his. Uh, you knew he would be there whenever you, when you needed him. Uh, you know, being the canine officer, if I got tips or whatever, I'd call Daniel, give him to give him Daniel, hey, this is something I'm gonna follow up on, check this out. Uh, always willing to do that. Always willing to put in the work, uh, put in the long hours uh, with, with no complaints. From the very beginning, uh, right after Daniel was shot, citizens uh, in the community were coming to the police station uh, asking what they could do. They were delivering food. They wanted to make donations to help the family or the department. And I mean, not a few, but hundreds. Uh, one man came in, one of my staff told me about a man that came in that uh, Daniel had previous contact with. And he was a man obviously down on his luck and he wanted to make a donation to help the family. And he only had two dollars to his name, but he wanted to donate it because he said uh, Daniel had arrested him, but he treated him with respect. I think when you look at his impact on the community, you look at the stories that you've heard uh, since his passing. You, We've had multiple people come up and tell us about, uh, I knew Officer Ellis when, you know, he gave me a ride, I was, I was walking, he gave me a ride home one time. I, uh, he paid for a hotel room for somebody that was going to be staying overnight in a tent. Without doubt, Daniel made our community a better place. And I think his legacy will, will carry on for a long time, for a long time. And, you know, his, his son will get a chance to see that. I think about Daniel every day. And uh, I would say that uh, Daniel, as a police chief, you can't have enough Daniels. He's the kind of officer that you want to have, and he's the kind of man that, he was the kind of man that, if I had a son, that's how 